video. It is seven, that is wrong. Not by that much, it's 7.14. I woke up at like 4.30. This happens every single day. My boobs wake me up because I'm still breastfeeding. Um, and then I, she's always up between like 5, 5.30 to eat. So I was kind of just laying there, I fell asleep for a little bit. Um, but then, yeah, she was up at 5.30, fed her. And then Emmy's normally up right after I put Avery back down. So I've just kind of been hanging out. And then Emmy did wake up at the, her 6.15 mark, but she just kind of like readjusted herself, got on her pillow and her eyes are still open. She's just been like relaxing in her bed for an hour. <laughs> she might be falling asleep now. I don't know, it's adorable. But today is going to be a full day of eating because I've been wanting to do this, but also I feel like we've just had so many changing things in terms of my diet. Um, so I didn't want to, one, record when I didn't have any foods that I actually enjoyed, two, when we were constantly changing things because it was just like stressful. I didn't have an actual like little routine or stuff in the house that fit, I don't know. But we are going in for Avery's two month appointment today. She's been on reflux medication for a week now, a week and a half. And that's definitely made a big difference. So I tried adding soy back into my diet yesterday. That did not go well. She definitely didn't love it. Like it wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. So I'm gonna do my dairy soy and egg free again until we figure out a formula that is gonna be best for her. I'm gonna try to get a recommendation from her pediatrician today. And I've had a lot of people say, especially if it's like allergy related or intolerance related, that sometimes your pediatrician will give you samples to try so you don't have to go out and buy stuff. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get some recommendations today, but until we have a formula that we know works, I'm gonna stick with the dairy soy and egg free. So today is the day that we're going to do a full day of eating on my restricted diet for breastfeeding. Um, for the longest time, I wasn't having coffee, but coffee doesn't seem to bother her anymore. I don't know if it ever really did, but with the reflux, I mean, it, I just was thinking that everything was bothering her. So I tried to keep that out. I still haven't been having like very acidic foods. The reflux medication has been super helpful. So yeah, anyway, enjoy the full day of eating probably going to look just like a typical vlog, except I'm going to show you all the meals because I like vlogging the day and documenting the stage of life we're in right now. Although there are some hard parts for sure. They just, oh gosh, kids grow up way too fast. And I love having these to look back on. I always say that. So she, I thought was sitting up and now she's back down again. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay. Well, I'll see you at our first meal. We would normally be eating by now because she would once again already have been up with me and like playing down here for an hour. I'm hungry. I don't know what's going on, but she is still just upstairs lying down and it's almost eight o'clock. <laughs> I love that for her, but we also have Avery's two month appointment today. So like I have to eat breakfast. I normally wait until she's up. Um, so <laughs> I made my breakfast. It's just a Dave's killer bagel, the everything bagel. Um, that lunch meat I got at Trader Joe's. They have a chicken that's really good. The turkey's, turkey's not my favorite. It's okay, but the chicken's good. And then the ham is really good, so. That's what I've been having, trying to add some more protein in. Normally I would have this with an egg, but I'm not eating eggs right now. So this has been a good alternative. Good morning. 
Do you want to go get some milk? Bumpy flowers. Matching flowers, yeah. What? Yeah, I've got mine on too. I got to get changed. I have to get changed. We have to start the day. Avery has a doctor's appointment this morning. And then we're going to go play at the gym. Gymnastics today. Not gymnastics. We're just going to go to the gym. And play, play, play. Big Uzi Dylan. Maybe Laura. Laura would probably love to see you today. No. No, you don't think so? I think she might be there. Dylan. Dylan? Dylan will be there, yeah. Reindeer. Oh, this is elephant. This no. Is... No. No. Out. <laughs> you. This is the last time? Okay. No. <laughs> More. More. Hi, Pinky Pinky Pinker. Say the picture of you. I'm actually taking a video. Oh. See the strawberries? Milk. Yeah, milk. Oh, we gotta pour this one in here. Here, set it down. All right, and then should we do the pink protein today? Pink protein? I want it. Have to. Here, we gotta leave it there first. No spill. Oh, yeah, we don't want to spill the milk. This pink. Carry on, pour. See? Brown. The other oh. one's brown. We used the brown one yesterday. This one's pink. You want to pour it in? Yeah, Mama's going to take Avery to the doctor. We're off to her two-month appointment. Emmy is loving her smoothie for breakfast. Yeah. And then say we'll be right back, and then we'll switch. And then we're going to go play at the gym. Maybe Laura. They're sleepy. You're still sleepy? That's so silly. All right, girl. Say goodbye to your big sister. <gasps> she said bye bye. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. I totally forgot to record, but.
was I going to say? Avery's appointment started so late, almost a full hour late. So I got home way later than I planned. And it was just kind of a like trying to hurry up, get in, get out of the gym. Um, it's noon now. We're normally home by now, but that's okay. Play again. Yeah, did you have fun at the gym? You were playing with the babies? Or looking at the babies? Yeah, I do. Looking through the gate, yeah? Looking through the gate. Looking through the gate at the baby. Door. Yeah. Door. Yeah, they're so tiny. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, I was in a hurry to go pick her up so we can go home so she can have like a proper lunch, not goldfish. But I totally forgot to show you the smoothie I get. So I normally would get the... Have fun the gym. I'm so glad you had fun in the gym. I would normally get the frozen mocha, which is the mocha madness, but you sub coffee and add peanut butter. That has the regular whey protein in it. Um, and one of the other powders in there has dairy. So... I've been getting the vegan PB&B. So that was the smoothie I just had. I'm gonna have to have something else shortly after getting home because I'm still hungry. But I did two exercises. <laughs> this was my first workout of the week. I had a little bit of food poisoning last Sunday night into Monday, felt terrible. So I've been taking it very easy and we've just, I've had a lot of work that I've had to get done. I had two try-ons I had to record this week, edit and get them I'm sent off. You. Yay! Are you ready to go home? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go home and have some lunch and see Dada and baby sister. Let's do it. Toots. You got toots? All right, well, let them out, girl. What song should we listen to? Skin and Rink. No, she's talking on her phone. Oh, you're talking, though. yeah, you're talking on the phone. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Grandma. Grandma? Oh, what's she doing? Doing good. She's doing good, okay. Smiley face. Smiley face? Where's Lola? At home. She's at home? Where's, where's Grandma? At home. Oh, okay. What do we have for lunch? Yogurt, pasta, and broccoli? For Emmy, not for me. go get tacos as a family. Everyone's loaded up. I go get tacos. All right. You ready to go get tacos? Let's do it. Yeah? Okay, perfect. Can I get all of them? All right. Dropping off packages. Dropping off packages on the way to get tacos. Uh, they both slept Maybe at the same time. Tacos. Yeah, we're about to go get tacos and they both slept for like two hours. So I ended up doing like a contact nap with her unintentionally. Um, and I'm starving. I would have taken a bar up with me if I knew I was gonna be up there that long. But I was, I know we're going. We're going, we're going. Uh, almost there. Almost there. Yep. Are we getting tacos? No! Bad, 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 bad. Inside voice, girly. I just... We're gonna have another girl. I just know it. <laughs> like, it's just inevitable at this point.
I just came in from outside and it is beautiful, almost 80 degrees, but windy. It's my first time alone in the house since having Avery, like alone alone. Chris left with Avery and Emerson to go to his parents so his siblings and his parents could see both of them. And he was like, I'm so interested to see how they'll both do in my car, like his car. So anyway, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you no to that. So um, I wanted to give a little recap and I know I prefaced the video by saying every day of eating has been so different. On Fridays, we like to get out and do like a little family restaurant trip so we normally go to cantina local mexican place just because right now that's really the only place i know i can eat stuff with like that's not going to have any of my restrictions and it's just easy emmy does well there it's great so that definitely kind of changed up <laughs> the eating routine a little bit i normally have a lot more snacks after we started the formula like even by later that night when i had the bowl of cereal she had already started not eating much of the bottles, which I was like, okay, she did have her two month shots today. So maybe that's playing a role, but she had been like inhaling my breast milk before that. So I was like, I don't, th I don't think she likes it. <laughs> and that did end up being the case. Uh, she, I don't even think it did well with her tummy, which I know there's a transition period. We might try it again and do like half breast milk, half formula and see, I don't know. I'm more tempted to try the new Tramogen or whatever the heck it is. Um, the Enfamil one. I think we're gonna try that. And then I have a couple other on my list that I wanna try if that doesn't go well, but I just kind of felt defeated. I'm like, man. <laughs> I just wish things could be a little simpler. It is what it is, it's fine. Like obviously we're getting through it. I am very glad, like I'm super thankful that I found the combination of things with me eating that keeps her happy. So I'm like bare minimum, I know we can have a happy baby as long as I keep these things out of my diet and I know she's gonna eat and it's whatever. Like I am just in my sacrificing era, <laughs> if you will. But I did find out that I can have egg, at least when I had egg yesterday and it didn't seem to bother her. So we'll see. But anyway, I wanted to give some other little things that I would typically eat in a day. Um, the Go Macro Bars are really good. The, uh, well, they're not really good, they're, oh, they're good. They're not my favorite, but for being dairy and soy free, I like those a lot. So I've always had those Go Macro bars on hand. The Aloha bars I also think are really good. So I've had a bunch of those on hand as well. Those are just like easy grab and go snacks. Trader Joe's has really good overnight oats that just come in like a tiny little pack. They're pretty low protein, high carb. That's the only downfall. You could easily make your own overnight oats, but I was just like, I don't wanna buy all these ingredients and different things if I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. So I tried those. Those were good. Those were a good little snack. We have mainly been making smoothies, putting my own vegan protein powder in them, and that like ground beef bowl that I would make. So I was having like Tostitos chips with some kind of meat, shredded lettuce, avocado. Um, yeah, so those are my like go-to snacks. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, man, are we ever going to get to a point where I am not stressed about what this girl is going to eat during the day? I know we will. Um, and once again, I'm thankful I have a good supply. I'm thankful that I found what keeps her happy while she is still um, going on breast milk. So I'm just pumping a lot. And if she doesn't go that long in between feeds, I can breastfeed her. She still takes on way more air if she's breastfeeding versus just on a bottle. So we try to bottle feed her as much as possible. Keeps her belly happier. But yeah, I just felt a little defeated. So I think that's another reason Chris was like, hey, I'm going to take Avery over like I want to. I do think he wanted to, but I also think he wanted to give me just a break because he sees all of the stress that I have around this whole situation. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I got done recording it, I'm like, this wasn't even a good video, I shouldn't even post it. And then I'm like, no, this is why you haven't recorded in the past because every day's been so different and that's just been the reality recently. But I love that we're able to get out of the house and go to a restaurant and that restaurant in particular, like I know I can have a couple things on the menu, like no problem. Um, obviously there's like some more tomatoes. I just eat around all of the tomatoes and cheese and stuff, but most of like my bowl doesn't have anything like that, which is great. Anywho, that is going to be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. 
Oh yeah, that was the other thing. We went to Chris's parents after that, after dinner, and both of the girls by the time we got home were so overtired. <laughs> we didn't get home until like seven, which is normally when like Avery's already in the room. We're trying to get her down. Emmy's bathed. Jammy's also in her room, starting the process of going to bed. So they were both really tired, which is why I didn't record much after. And by the time I got to my cereal, I'm like, I don't even feel like talking. I just wanna sit, pump, eat my cereal in silence and go to bed. But I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna do a little day in the life tomorrow. I might, I think I'm gonna have Chris do a day in the life, like from his perspective. I think that would be fun. But we'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day whenever I get this up. I have so much I need to do this week and we only have our nanny for two days instead of three because we're testing out the new schedule with Emmy going there. Um, but I have to get the next program done. A little stressed about that. It always gets done, right? It'll all be fine. It'll all be fine.